Hello, everybody, and let me welcome you to today's webinar. Um, I'm Martin Škoda, and I'm product manager at Flomo Networks. Today, I will focus on the uh, on the last or on the uh, one of the big features in the DDoS Defender, which was introduced in the last uh, version of Flomo DDoS Defender. Uh, if you have any question uh, during the webinar, uh, you can use the GoToWebinar panel uh, to uh, ask your questions, and I will answer all your questions uh, at the end of the webinar. So let's start. Uh, as I said, I will talk about the adaptive DDS uh, detection and mitigation. Um, I will show you the feature and show you the demonstration. And after that, I will foreshadow what we are planning to do with the DDoS Defender in upcoming <clears throat> months. So I will tell you and show you some of the uh, features we plan. So let's start with the uh, additive uh, DDoS mitigation. <clears throat> so uh, why do we even uh, uh, have this feature? So when the attacker uh, launch a DDoS attack against some uh, application, against some service, uh, <clears throat> his plan is to cripple this service, which can cause some, uh, some costs uh, for the businesses, uh, some reputation losses, and et cetera. Uh, the businesses are trying to protect themselves against these DDoS attacks by deploying various uh, solutions and uh, to de and detect the attack and, uh, and uh, mitigate it. Uh, when the DD, uh, when the attacker sees that his <clears throat> attack uh, was detected and successfully mitigated, he can try to uh, change the DDoS attack vectors. So he starts uh, attacking on some different ports, or uh, he will start attacking, attacking some different IP addresses or change the protocol. Uh, <clears throat> so uh, this is what we are doing now with the adaptive DDoS uh, mitigation. We are detecting the changes in the DDoS attack to, <clears throat> uh, to protect the business application and services and show the attacker that his uh, his effort is useless. So how it works? Here on this picture, we have a service provider on a network. Uh, on the right side, we can see some customers of the service provider, uh, which are protected objects or protected segments. <clears throat> Each protected uh, object is uh, some customer, or service, data center, whatever. On the left side, we have some uh, peers, so some uplinks to the internet, peering, uh, etc. Uh, the service provider uh, deployed uh, the Flomo collector with a DDoS Defender, and he collects uh, flow data from the edge routers. So based on this flow data, uh, the DDoS Defender is learning baselines. So uh, we are learning what uh, is normal amount of traffic. When attacker starts uh, the attack, we see the changes uh, changes in the traffic uh, which, uh, in the traffic volumes and uh, uh, detect uh, the attack. Uh, based on the, the uh, attack detection, uh, we are able to calculate uh, the signature of the attack. So we see who is attacking who, uh, on what port, which protocol is used. And using this information, we are able to create uh, BGP flow spec rules, which we then send to a router. And uh, the router uh, applies these BGP flow spec rules uh, and um, is instructed uh, uh, to discard the traffic, for example. So as you can see here, uh, there is a example of such attack signature uh, where we see destination IP, destination port and protocol and the instruction to discard all the traffic with this signature. So 
uh, when the rule is applied on the rotor, the rotor starts to drop the traffic. Uh, now the attacker checks uh, the victim and see, uh, sees that his website is still available. So he can change the attack uh, to, uh, to uh, try uh, bypass the, the protection. So uh, in this example, he changes, the attacker changes the destination port and uh, <clears throat> this is something with, uh, which we are able to detect in, with this new feature. So we update the signature of the attack and push another BGP flow spec rule into the router and the router is able to drop that traffic too. So let's now check uh, the demonstration. Okay, let me give me a second. Okay. So first of all, we can see that uh, we are pinging some IP address to check the connection. So on the bottom right corner, we can see some low amount of traffic. Uh, so we know that we can communicate with the with host. Now we will start uh, the DDoS attack and we can see immediately that the volume of traffic increases from several kilobytes to thousands of kilobytes. This is detected in the Filmon DDoS Defender and we can start um, the mitigation manually. Uh, the mitigation can be also start automatically. It's, it, it depends on the configuration. Uh, when we start the mitigation manually, we are offered with the uh, subnets which are under the attack. So as you can see, uh, we now see the slash 32 subnet, so uh, one IP address which is under the attack. For this IP address, we start to mitigate. Uh, so we offer uh, the mitigation, sorry, we offer, uh, yeah, sorry for that. So we, um, uh, check the router uh, and we check the option to mitigate via flow spec. And as a next step, we can see uh, individual flow spec rules which are created based on uh, calculating the attack signature. So we just choose the re relevant parts and um, by clicking on the button start mitigation, uh, the DDoS defender send this BGP flow spec rule to the router and the mitigation starts. Okay, so uh, we can see now that the attack is mitigated. When we look in the bottom right corner uh, on the traffic chart, uh, on the simple traffic chart, we can see, uh, and also in the table, that there are just some low amount of traffic, uh, uh, some tens of kilobytes. So the attacker now changes the attack because he sees that his uh, uh, his previous attack was ineffective. So to cripple the victim application, he changes the attack by changing the IP address. So it's not now uh, .10 but .11. In the DDoS Defender, uh, you can see uh, in the attack list that uh, the attack uh, was changed, and this is indicated in the attack uh, action status uh, column uh, that the mitigation is updating, uh, is to be updated. So, as you can see here uh, uh, in the actions, uh, you can see that the uh, that the mitigation uh, was updated, that the DDoS Defender sent uh, another uh, an updated BGP flow spec rule. <clears throat> this can be checked uh, on the router, so we will list all the, 
all the uh, flow spec rules. And the bottom one is uh, the new rule uh, with the dot uh, 11 IP address. And you can also see that there are some uh, matched and dropped packets. So uh, this is automatic uh, update of the uh, DDS attack signature uh, and uh, uh, update of the mitigation rules. So as you can see, even if the attacker changes the attack signature, uh, if they attack, uh, attack using another vector, uh, they won't be successful. And using this feature, it will help <coughs> to uh, uh, it will help uh, to uh, minimize or uh, to deteriorate uh, the effort of the attack. Okay, so this was the uh, adaptive. <coughs> sorry, yeah. So this was the detection of the evolving uh, and changing DDoS attacks uh, and their mitigation. And now let's check what we are planning with the DDoS Defender for upcoming uh, months and uh, next year. So here we can see uh, the mm, next planned releases with uh, some main features. So for the third quarter of this year, we are planning uh, to add REST API to the DDoS Defender. So you will be able to get uh, data from the DDoS Defender about the attacks uh, and use use the data in some other uh, other solutions or for some uh, portals. Uh, and not only getting the data, but also the configuration of the segments and other, other configuration in the DDoS Defender. Another interesting feature uh, is the auto configuration of protected segments using BGP. So the Flowmon DDoS Defender uh, will be able to be configured uh, after um, uh, after getting the data from the BGP about the communities from some routers. So in the DDoS Defender, you configure some peer, some router, which will provide the, the DDoS Defender with uh, the community string information. And based on this information and based on the configuration on the DDoS Defender, the, uh, the Defender will be automatically uh, changing the protected segment configuration. So it will out or remove some routes, for example. Uh, by the end of the year, we should release the DDoS Defender version 5, which changes the way how we process the flow data. So we will uh, go from the batch processing, which is uh, uh, which is used now, to stream processing of flow data. And this will allow, allow us to do the most real-time mitigation. So we will be able to detect the attacks within seconds. Uh, starting next year, we will uh, uh, we will add some other interesting features like complex workflow, workflow to handle mitigation process or mitigation during. So I will show you now uh, the detection uh, within one second and also the mitigation during uh, the principles. So it's it's pretty straightforward with the one second uh, detection. So Let's think of a timeline of uh, DDoS attack. So, so the attack starts in the time zero, and as of now, uh, we are using the batch processing, so we are able to detect the attack within uh, like 30 seconds or five minutes. It's, uh, it depends uh, how long uh, the batch is. Uh, of, uh, of the flow data are long, so. Uh, they can be five minute batches or 30 seconds. This uh, then, uh, uh, based on this, uh, we detect attack uh, in some um, 30 seconds plus, uh, plus or minus several seconds or uh, five minutes. Yeah, so uh, the T1 uh, is the time of the attack detection. So based on the detection, we can send some 
notification via syslog or email. We can also push the configuration using REST API or a script to some scrubbing devices uh, to uh, to inform them about ongoing DDoS attack and send them some uh, DDoS attack characteristic. We are also able, based on the detection, do some traffic redirection. So uh, it uh, can be not only the BGP flow spec, uh, but also some BGP injections, policy-based routing, and, and etc. The goal is to get the, uh, the traffic to the scrubbing device. Uh, then there's uh, T2, uh, which is like 20 seconds after, uh, which is time uh, uh, for everything to get connected, uh, to talk uh, between each other, uh, to get some attack characteristic to the scrubbing uh, appliance. And after this time, the attack is mitigated. Uh, when the attack ends, we uh, also, we send the notification to the scrubbing uh, device and after some termination delay, we uh, end the traffic redirection and we also clean up the configuration in the scrub, uh, in the scrubbing uh, appliance. So with the, with the new feature, with the stream processing, we will be able to, uh, be, we will be able to uh, detect the attacks almost real time and the T1 will be lower uh, so we will detect the attacks within a seconds. It will uh, fasten uh, the whole DDoS attack detection and mitigation uh, lifecycle. And the second feature I want to show you uh, is mitigation tiering. So the idea is that we can do some rough mitigation using for example, BGP flow spec, and uh, then uh, clean the rest of the traffic in the scrubbing center. Uh, the motivation is to uh, <clears throat> uh, have a good handle over the mitigation uh, workflow, the process, and also to save some um, processing uh, power and bandwidth uh, on the scrubbing center. So we have here uh, almost the same uh, scenario as previously, but you now we have also here, uh, deployed scrubbing center. So as uh, previously, we learn the baselines from the network traffic by uh, collecting flow data. And when the attack starts, uh, we create some signature uh, of the attack and uh, we create BGP flow spec rules. Uh, we send the BGP flow spec rules to the router, and the router does uh, 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 or the router discards discards the attack uh, or the uh, discards the traffic according to the signature. So this is how we can uh, get rid of part of the attack. Uh, it can be quite a large uh, portion of the attack, which can be mitigated by the BGP flow spec on the routers. And second stage, the second step is to get rid of the rest of the attack in the scrubbing center. So we redirect the traffic to the scrubbing center uh, after, uh, so, so the, the traffic still contains some part of the attack. Uh, and we send some uh, information about the about the DDoS attack, some signatures to the scrubbing center. So the scrubbing center knows what to mitigate and the rest of the attack is then mitigated in the scrubbing center. So uh, that's everything from my side for today. So I was talking about the detection of evolving attacks uh, in the DDoS defender and the update of the mitigation uh, mitigation rules uh, to better protect uh, business uh, business applications and services. And then I showed you uh, what we are planning, uh, which uh, where the most interesting features are one second DDoS detection and mitigation tiering. Uh, thank you for your attention and have a nice day. Goodbye.